2022, has my thicky dumpy grown at all? Yes. A win. Let's go home. The holiday spirit just got real. Try MeUndies and get 20% off your first purchase, plus free standard shipping and free returns when you go to MeUndies.com slash wild. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. Are both of you done? Uh, <laughs> Dev and I were both making sippy sounds on our beverages. Are both of you done? And also we too, we were doing a sniff beforehand. I got to get my pre-recording snoff out yeah, now. It's like a choir of just like sick children and like, Juicy box. You know what? This is a morning edition of Wild Till Nine. And so I don't know what you're getting today because we just opened our eyeballs. I've got my Alani New Witch's Brew with a umbrella straw. So I am feeling refreshed. And I'm feeling disgusted by <laughs> the amount of- This flavor? It's like anti-ASMR in stereo right now. Oh uh, yeah. This flavor is, you know what? Alani New in general, I'm, I'm like- the chokehold that Alani knew and also Crumble Cookies has on me right now is just like out of control. And like when these say they have zero calories in them, I'm like, this is just cancer in a bottle, I think, because they're so it, delicious. You're hang on. Do you like the apple caramel suckers? No, nobody does. Uh, uh, no, Devon, you and so I too. So good. So oh, good. yeah. I feel like Devin, the why don't general- you just join toast socks over here? <laughs> Population are so good. Also, Heath was just telling me last night that there's a sandwich place called Ike's that they all year around with their sandwiches, they give you an apple caramel sucker. That is- Is it like to make up for like like their food? I don't know. No, like, it's like a bonus. Okay. Like a like bonus. A, like if I had that- Like a reward. A sandwich that was terrible, it would probably make the sandwich better because no one actually eats. I just don't like the, like the, the thought of just a, a weird apple flavor, caramel thing. It's gonna get stuck to my teeth. After a sandwich too? It's, yeah. That sounds fire. Imagine it was a bomb sandwich and like obviously the sucker's bomb. So it's like, that is a double win in my books. Are you gonna try this thing or not? Oh, you wanna try it? Yeah. You're just gonna talk shit about it because you're not gonna, if you don't like the flavor of apple caramel, you're gonna hate it. You know this. what? This in Toronto can just have no comments. Try it. Try it. Nope. Come in, come in. We babe. need to see how much you spent on Crumble a year from when you first went. <gasps> Will it tell me? It reminds me of Zane's addiction with Candy Crush. Oh my God. And how he spent like maybe oh, $8,000 or something. Oh my God. I mean, I would rather have Robitussin. That's so offensive. I'm addicted to these nice. right now. I've really had to wean myself onto energy drinks because there's 200 milligrams of caffeine. I do think though, caffeine in energy drinks is different than the caffeine in coffee. Is that correct? <laughs> Let's just stop all the good topics and we'll start right here. Can we, can we get a Google on that? Because like when I drink coffee caffeine, I'm like cracked out. I'm shaking, so you're I'm more, a little wait, wait, nauseous. You're more cracked out from like natural caffeine? Yeah. Where I think the fake caffeine you think like is guarana different. Guarana is better for you. Mm -hmm. Was it guarine mm -hmm. and something in? Let me let me get a lock on these ingredients. Also, the list is really long, which is also concerning. But I love them so much. What does it say? What does it say? Can you read that out for me, babe? I'm super blind in the morning. According to the according to Caffeine Former, that's one word. Energy drinks have about eighty to two hundred milligrams of caffeine, and eight ounce of drip coffee has one hundred and ten to one hundred and fifty milligrams. Unless you're dining that super sized Red Bull, you'll probably have equivalent caffeine intake from a cup of Joe. Now, let's yeah, let's click into- Wait, hang on, let me find the, what the, okay, it's the L-theanine? No, that's that's to make you relax. That's so that oh. the, the caffeine, cause like I mean, the, my caffeine pills yeah. that um, have- Oh, taurine, is that it? Taurine, there yeah. We go. Yeah, do, <laughs> does, will taurine make me die? No, don't, don't actually go with that. But uh, taurine versus natural caffeine maybe? Isn't taurine one of the like the things that are like in Mountain Dew as well? Oh, maybe. Yeah, Mountain Dew does have caffeine in it. Remember everyone was like, if you drink Mountain Dew, you're, you're like, come, gonna, gonna is, die. is impacted. <laughs> yeah. Missed that rumor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe that was just something in my playground. Um, taurine versus caffeine, which should you choose? If a primary goal is to feel more, feel more energized, it appears that you're better off choosing caffeine yeah. instead of taurine. A hundred percent. No, I am, I'm not kidding. I had half of a gingerbread latte when we were in Toronto and I was unwell for like a solid hour. Cause you were too like hyped up I was from a cracked. gingerbread latte? Yes. You should try cocaine. Oh my God, I was <laughs> cracked out. Just this clip has, that. This has so many like questionable. <laughs> no oh. wonder my mom's not proud of me on this podcast. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> kidding. This is why this is an anti-Donna. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is definitely not good for you, but they're delicious and I will continue drinking them every single day. The mimosa flavor. So good. That sounds fire. Yeah, it's so delicious. 
We're little gym crackheads over here. I, mean, like, Everybody's like, I know the gym crackheads with the Celsius and the yeah. Ohlone New. And what's funny, like when you, but I honestly think, and here's here's a hot take. I'm either gonna get canceled or people are gonna be like, oh, I totally get it. I are you good? I have to burp. Okay, go ahead. But I'm trying to get we'll away wait. from the mic. No, 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 it's good. My new favorite podcast, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, 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 Violating Community Guidelines with Brittany Broski, and I have already forgot her co-host. Mm -hmm. Sarah Shower. Sarah, who's, oh, is she a copywriter? Is that why she's so funny? Anyway, uh, no, the, I, I, so. I just got on, I know I'm, I'm fucking late, but she never lets a burp go to waste. So <laughs> every single one is like in full Dolby full Atmos. Full audio. Gargantuan. It, it, and I'm like, I mean, I hear her burp. And uh -huh. if I were eating something around her and had to burp, yeah. I would I would have to excuse myself to go right. burp because I have little bitch burps compared right. to hers. Right, 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 yeah. right. And right. not that that wasn't on topic, but back to what I was about to say, which is I think that oftentimes, I would actually, actually go even the next step further. I think almost always mm -hmm. women catch on to things faster than men. However, when it comes to, I think, working out and the substances and all the things that like, mm -hmm dudes have been putting in their $20 shakes, no, $20 like buckets of just like chemicals yeah. before and after every football practice, Yeah, y'all are late. Yeah, well, I think a big part of it is that there was just like a general misconception and there still is that girls are like, oh, if you weight lift, you're gonna get bulky because girls don't wanna get bulky, they wanna tone. And that's why like the Pilates uh, uh, talk, industry, talk to Mia. like Pilates and bar, like all those classes like thrive so hard because there's just like a misconception that lifting weights, especially like lifting heavy is gonna make you a bulky bitch. Right, the point is you know, <laughs> the other day, one goes, have you ever taken creatine? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah. And I've been seeing all these TikToks of girls who are like, I mean, the you, difference you, of building a yeah, you absolute like, you dump truck. You checked the street both ways to see if anyone was coming before you yeah. asked that question. You were like, you yeah. know, so my cousin was taking creatine when I was in high school and he got huge. And I was always like, it, everyone was always like, oh, it's just water muscles. And so in my head, I was like, oh, you're cheating the system if you're taking creatine, but that is entirely not true. I wanna be clear. And I did not know this But are you until aware that we're, we're just one big sack of water? Of creatine? Also, yeah, I know. Like we, one, we already make creatine. Yeah. Two. And we also are just- We're just big water, water sacks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <sighs> Does creatine, what? Does creatine affect women's hormones? The 2021 study found that creatine supplementation was beneficial for women, particularly in regard to estrogen. Through the use of creatine, the subjects found their moods had improved without interfering with hormones. Take some creatine. So the only problem though, is that like sometimes because it does uh, can affect hormones is that it girl, gives girls acne and it changes like that. Any, Cause any change in like hormonal anything can like obviously offset your skin as we saw four years but ago. But anything you put in your body can affect your skin. Totally, totally. And so that's like the only backlash I've seen. And also like, who knows if those girls were drinking enough water because you have to drink so much water when you're taking creatine. And I don't know if I am hydrated enough to be able to deserve to take creatine. You're literally sipping on a fucking candy apple. Yeah. And you've got a third of a glass of sparkling water down. Uh, It's a liter. Yeah, well, okay. and if you took the top out that yeah. you drank, you've had about a third of a glass. It is 10.30 AM. I am still trucking through my water consumption. I'm at least a liter down. At least. A liter? At least. Oh my God. I would have to stop the podcast three times. We know, that's why I'm not asking. Yeah, exactly. I know, yeah. no one wants that. No, Literally no one wants that. So yeah, welcome to 20, 2006. Yeah, um, thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. I'm yeah. so happy to be here. Literally all the like fitness girls on TikTok are like, here's how I built my absolute dump truck by changing nothing in my actual workout routine and like still eating the same amount of protein or, and carbs or whatever is taking creatine. And like, I am in the process of trying to build a dump truck. You want a dump truck? Yeah. Okay. I told you at the beginning of the year, 2022 is the year of the thicky dumpy. Uh, wasn't it 2021? No, it was this year. New, this, 2022? This Got year's it. New Year's resolution. Year and I dumpy. literally can't believe that we are 11 months into this this year. Like it's, that is so crazy. By the time this pod comes out, happy December, everybody. Oh my God, I know. I know. Oh my God, yeah, Vlogmas starting. Yeah, yeah, this is the last time that Lauren and I will have had a conversation that's yeah. smiling. Um, and Jeremy watched my Vlogmas intro. It's been a treacherous month of going back and forth with animators and editors and- It looks great. Do you think so? I asked Jeremy's honest opinion. 
I've been, it's like one of those things where I've been staring at it so long that like, I don't know if it even looks good anymore. Like I've just been, I've it been so- It doesn't look good, it looks great. You think? Yeah, Ooh. Lauren, you know that I'm not shy with my opinions. Yeah, I know. I was a little nervous when I asked for your honest opinion. I know, you asked Sometimes me, it's I, too honest. And I was like, I think she actually wants to hear it. Yeah, I and do, I, I do. I loved it. There's, because not, there's no notes, no it's notes. December 28th today. He actually just delivered the final file right before we yep, started November. recording. Oh uh, yeah, November 28th, he just delivered the final file and- You look hot, you got boobies. I got boobies, but got, that that is because I hired an incredible illustrator. You got boobies, you got puppies. I got puppies. You got sound effects. I got cookies. You got champagne. Yeah, and so it's not what- Shut up. Yeah, okay, no, 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 but I think this is, I think like the, I think the takeaway from this is really great. And I try and like embody this in a lot of the projects that I do is that if it's 80 to 90% like is satisfied, just publish it, just post it. Cause if I try and go for a hundred every single time, I'll never post anything. Are we in the 80 to 90 percent? I would, 100. Say, I would say it's 79 percent, but oh I don't have time. God, it's November 28th. Oh, no, it looks so good. <sighs> It's so good. Okay. I, I, won't, I won't even hear the Lauren slander. Did you understand that it was a champagne transition between scene one and two though? It was a little bit more like Diet Coke, but yeah. Yeah, I know. I was trying to go for rose, but they were doing pink at first and we were trying to get to like a like a peachy yellow. It looks great. But I didn't want it to be like too pee looking. Ew, <sighs> it looks great. Okay. Um, the other side of this is that you're only going to like use it for a month. It's gonna be done. That is so much content. It's, it's it stays forever. It stays forever. Vlogmas lives on forever. Lauren, I've seen some of the content that you've put out and the lack of quality that you've- And those are now privated for no one to see. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't, let's not start here with everything needs to be in fucking 8K and <laughs> pixel perfect. Oh God. Anyways, Vlogmas is starting and we'll see. We're gonna check in with my mental state uh, next podcast. You know what though? I'm pretty fresh at the beginning. So I think I'll, I'll be in good shape. Well, now that you've got your guarana, guarine, Brain. caffeine. Elfiany. Yeah, you'll be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be great. Um, and I got you on a probiotic too. Oh yeah. So Free and pro. If you put anything in a gummy, I'll take it. Good to know. If you put oh anything God. in a gummy, I'll take it. Anything. Send that to Overheard LA. <laughs> That sounds wild. <laughs> yeah. If you should put anything in a gummy, I'll take it. No, yeah, you're, you're, why are you so pill of averse? If any pill has like any weird aftertaste, I, I will be you're so- You're not supposed to sit there and put on your tongue. No, no, no. But some of them just have like a, a little weird, like lingering aftertaste. Even after you like take it with water and stuff. Why don't you take it with like, well, you know, and drink milk. Um, it, that's the worst idea in the entire world. Yeah. I don't know why Wait, you can't of take a all pill of milk? things. Oh, nasty. Yeah, why would you do that? You fill up a fucking- I can't believe you, that 16 was- 16 ounce I thought you were gonna say glass like of cow puss and I will drink ah! it down. Nasty. Ah! I grew up in Illinois. Who was it that just learned that that um, like really hardcore, like violent vegan people call eggs chicken periods? Me. Was that you last night that learned that? Yeah. Yeah, well. It's not gonna stop me. There was this, Give me that chicken. Um, there was this like old school vegan YouTuber. I hate this person. Um, fuck, what was her name? She mm. was the crazy banana, ba freely, freely. Oh my God, this bitch ate like 12 bananas a day and she used to make- I love how you just said the word freely. <laughs> <laughs> like thought... literally, freely. <laughs> and the, the, the dictionary the comes Oxford up. Dictionary.com definition. But Wait, pause. Do you, did you fuck? Merriam Webster. What about her? Yeah, that. Not a woman. What? Who Look is it? it? What do you mean? Merriam Webster. Uh -huh. Last names, dudes. Oh. Look it up. I have been re referring to Merriam as a lady? woman for so yeah. long. That's some bullshit. Not, <laughs> thank you for the personality test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what though? I guess it's kind of like a law yeah. firm where they Look. do like, that's, oh. yeah. How long, what, when did the Merriam-Webster, when, when did the dictionary first get published? Well, I think Oxford, the university yeah. is is pretty. Huh. Yeah. Wow, that is a. It's just two last names. Interesting, why Why is uh, Sam Smith coming out? But why have I thought, <laughs> but I've, I've had, I've had the, um, the, the visual in my head yeah. of like an old lady at a, like a, at a librarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. going, hand the word. Freely on, on fleek will now be in my dictionary. And like, I, that's <laughs> that's like in my head. Yeah, exactly what's, what's And it's just two visual. old dudes in a wig. Huh, wow. Never would have guessed. I, I hate that that's been shattered for you. Hate that's been shattered for all of us. Yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, so Freely used to make content literally just like targeting anyone that had an opinion about like what they would eat in a day. Mm. And so like one of the comments that I made in a video a long time ago was like, oh, I didn't realize that if I drown my salad in like dressing, my salad becomes unhealthy. And she like turned that and flipped that into like something like super violently oh, yeah. inaccurate. This chick vegan for bully. sure. Literally the rise and fall of Freely the vegan bully. I have so many mean things to say about this Yeah, person. me too, truly. Still not as many mean things as Nikki Philippi, but. Who doesn't love getting new undies for the holidays? Nudists. I feel like, Nudists. well, that's, that's one small subsect of the world. I also feel like you when I was- You asked a question. Yeah, and you answered it. Yeah. Um, I feel like when I was younger, getting undies was like such a bummer, but now I am so welcome to getting new undies. Uh, yeah. Yeah, great gift. Mandy's is your go-to spot for snuggly, soft undies and more that all of your loved ones will adore. Get Mary in matching sets, perfect for binge watching or holiday your way however you like with new limited edition prints. The holiday spirit just got real. Try Mandy's and get 20% off your first purchase plus free standard shipping and free returns when you go to meundies.com slash wild. Um, and don't tell Jeremy, but I've already bought us some matching onesies with sled riding polo bears on them. I'm right here. I'm, I'm right here. But I will wear those without question. Anyway, spend less time gift shopping and more time living with the new MeUndies holiday collection. From undies and bralettes to PJ sets, MeUndies has something for everybody on your list. Shop classic plaids for dads. God, I love that line. Holiday sweater prints for fun friends and the softest loungewear ever for all your cuddly ones in your life. And uh, don't tell Lauren or Lauren earmuffs, but after feeling how soft the your products are, I actually don't mind throwing out a pair of matching onesies with her. Anyway, yes. seriously, yes. Tillies, run to MeUndies to get yourself some holiday gear. Available in sizes XS through 4XL, MeUndies has everything you could need to make your favorite people smile this holiday season, all in one convenient place. And maybe a little something for yourself too. This year, how to your way with me undies. Did you see the one that I wore yesterday to my holiday party? That cute little pajama oversized. That was me undies? That was me undies. That was adorable. I know, and it was so soft. I'm not kidding. I got pet multiple times in like not a creepy way and just oh, like a okay. soft, like soft shirt this, way. This took a left turn. Multiple times. That's adorable. We love me undies here at Wild Till Nine and we think you will too. To get 20% off your first order, free shipping and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to meundies.com slash wild. That's MeUndies.com slash wild. I can confidently say that before Lauren- <laughs> I books, knew, I knew this was gonna be personal. <laughs> books, calls the Uber, gets is, is even in the same week as a brunch, let alone lunch and don't even recommend and don't even discuss dinner. She's poured over the menu. She's looked at the list. She's looked at the reviews. She's looked at the pictures. She's looked at the pictures of the pictures. She's looked at the friends of the pictures. She's looked at the second. I, I mean, I've never seen someone who puts more energy into thinking about a an order. So why wouldn't anyone do the exact same amount of effort for booking a doctor's appointment? With ZocDoc, you can see real verified patient reviews to help find the right doctor in your network and in your neighborhood. After all, finding the right doctor is just as, if not more important, than finding the right plate of eggs Benedict. Isn't that right, Lauren? I love an eggs, Benny. Mm -hmm. ZocDoc is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance and are available when you need them. On ZocDoc, you can find every specialist under the sun, whether you're trying to straighten those teeth, fix an achy back, get that mold checked out or anything else, ZocDoc has you covered. It's like it was made for you. <laughs> finding the right doctor is huge when you need it. My general care practitioner of Many, many years just decided oh, yeah. to retire. <gasps> oh no. Out of the blue. Let him live his best retirement life. Well, I am specifically but now you're only single. because I have the ability to find other doctors in my area. ZocDoc completely changed the game. They helped me find and review local doctors, read verified patient reviews from real people who made real appointments. Now, when I walk into the doctor's office, I'm all set to see someone in my network who gets me. Go to ZocDoc.com to find the doctor that's right for you and book an appointment in person or remotely that works for your schedule. Go to ZocDoc.com slash wild and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then start your search for a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's ZocDoc.com slash wild. ZocDoc.com slash wild. Anyways, 
So Spotify, actually, no, this isn't, this is Spotify um, integrated. I have a link to send you. It's called InstaFest. It just came out today. And- What are you talking about? I have something to do. You, okay, hang on, I'm gonna send you a link. I have something to do. I'm God, we're exciting. send you a link. Hang on, please hold, please hold. Okay, so Spotify does obviously Spotify Wrapped 2022 where they show you like all the genres that you listen to and all your top artists or whatever. And I feel like everyone loves sharing that. And you know, you, it's just like, it takes over social media for a day. But this girl made InstaFest where Spotify users will see their most played artists in the form of a three day music festival lineup. Um, okay, so InstaFest isn't made by Spotify and comes from a third party website made by University of Southern California student Anshay Sabu. Um, and so Shout you- Shout out Anshay. Yeah, no, it's like taking over right now. Okay, so I just sent you the link and then we can compare our InstaFest. I just got mine and I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty good about it. Okay, so my Lord DIY Fest um, on, oh, why is my, oh, I guess cause I, I did it today. My days of the festival are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which is not very lit for anyone and no one's gonna attend my festival. Um, Okay, so my my headliners, and I'll go through what what are the, what is it called with my my non headliners? Who are the I just like performing supporting artists, acts. supporting acts. Okay, uh, headliner number one is Charlie on a Friday. We really had a Charlie on a Friday. Wow. Phase. Really? Oh, this yeah. is like recent. This is it's definitely got to be recent because I'm say, looking at some of these and I'm like, this is definitely not my like top played. So it's got to be recent. Your top played is what I think like just emo night <laughs> um, on <laughs> any given Thursday with a be. little bit of Mac Miller. Right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, my next day, my headliner is K Flay. I've been on a real big K Flay. Love K Flay. Um, yeah, What's real K-Flay? big K Flay. Um, w- what is a K Flay? Oh, what is a K Flay? Could you say the sentence? You, uh, K Flay, I mean, we've. I, every time we get into your car, I'm putting K Flay on. I'm actually listening to K Flay radio at all times. Electronic oh, singer. It's like, can't sleep. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't, can't sing any melodies, so that you probably gave I, you nothing. I'm not in fear but of us blood, getting copyright. Blood in the cut. That, uh, that was our topic last uh, week. <laughs> okay, K Flay is my number two headliner, and then Jake, but the the A is a V, mm. is my next high mm. headliner. Um, Javake. 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 <laughs> okay, my supporting artists, we've got Mac Miller, Mayday Parade, Jack Harlow, which I feel like really embodies my music taste right there. No, they're, they've been your supporting acts forever. Forever. Yeah. They, they've gone from headliners yeah. to, to second, third, and fourth. Every year since every year, existence. yeah. Mac yeah. Miller, Mayday Parade, yeah. Jay Carlo, Flume, big okay. Flume fan, yeah. and then did you hear her say Jay Carlo? Oh, Jack, Jack Carlo, <laughs> Javay Carlo, um, Flume, Sam Smith. I feel like because that new song we've been listening Unholy. to a lot, yeah, yeah. Unholy, um, Greaves, Beyonce, The Chainsmokers, uh, Galantis. I'm surprised Galantis is not higher up there. If there was a concoction for basic bitch, it would be these ingredients. Uh, I think this would be basic bitch with a little bit of ABG, e, ABG EDM mm. with ABG a little EDM. infused of that. Got it. Um, next we've got lo-fi fruits music, which I think is because I listen to like lo-fi playlists when I'm working or reading. Lo-fi fruits music? Yeah, lo-fi fr- fruits music. And that sounds more like a playlist than an artist. Okay. Mm. Uh, Young Gravy, big Young Gravy fan. Uh, Post Malone, Black Bear, Noted. Is it Noted? N-O-T-D, Noted? I think it's Noted, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chris Brown, which makes me want to throw myself off a Did cliff. Craig have your that's why. That's oh my god, you're so right. This is Craig because I've ne- I would never put Chris Brown on. See that. What's my issue? Oh, any song. Oh uh, yeah, no. I'm not kidding. Craig, this, this our dude, friends. This dude will call me and be like, Chris Brown released new music this week, and I'd be like, He will get married to Chris Brown. Like he will walk down the aisle to Chris Brown. It is the wow. most insane. Well, I'm just like, dude, artist this is a, obsession. It's becoming quite the personality to track. No, it is a hundred percent. I was like, you can't tell new friends this. Yeah, okay. you need to bring this out after they've already accepted you for who you are. Oh, a hundred percent. You need to be friends with him for three months, and then he can tell you that. Yeah. Uh, Timmy Trumpet, party alone, but parties with a D. Party uh, Alone. Party Alone, Dominic Fike, mm-hmm. Nessa Barrett, mm-hmm. uh, Slander. Ooh, big Slander fan. Big Slander fan. Um, Drake, Loveless, who is like an emo cover band slash artist on TikTok, <laughs> who I've listened to a few of their songs. And uh, that wraps up Lord DIY Fest. Honestly, are you attending? No, no, <laughs> no, definitely not. No, Please I would, let I would, me know in the comments if you would attend Lord I DIY would, Fest. I would attend, I would. 
Yeah. I would, yeah. Ja- First day, Charlie on a Friday with Mac Miller, Made a Parade, and Jack Harlow. Can you Flume, imagine? Can you Galantis. Imagine, yeah, but can you imagine Charlie on a Friday headlining and all the other? Yeah, right. And then uh, Sam Who's Smith. Who's Charlie on a Friday? He is like a frat singer, kind of, who had a few bigger songs. He kind of looks like Jake Paul a little bit, like Jake Paul before <laughs> he got like <laughs> hardcore boxer vibes. He does like kind of look like a. Uh, yeah. Like, Pre hardcore looking fighter Jake Paul, he kind of looks like he's. I would say it's like frat boy music with like a eight percent infusion of like country, which I hate country, so this is shocking. Anyways, that's Lord DIY Fest. Let me know if you would attend. Lauren um, and and she'll let ready to watch like even through her foundation go. I I color. She would have without question had a I'm dating a white rapper phase. Had the opportunity no, presented itself. No, that's never true. A data white rapper. Had the opportunity presented itself, you would have. Maybe. I mean, if Jack Harlow was like, let me take you on a date, I wouldn't say no. That's weird. Oop, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and of all white rappers, that would be the one that I would go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> God. I just don't, well, one, I don't, I don't, I don't think he crosses your, your height threshold. Uh, yeah, you're right. No, does he, can we get a Jack Harlow height Google? Like six, five, I think. No, no, no. That's your thinking of Young Gravy. Young Gravy's a tall motherfucker. I wouldn't be surprised oh, if he six, was three. like- six three. Oh, yeah. He beats my six six foot threshold. Oh, that Wait. one say 5'11"? Yeah, that one's yeah, that five, one's five <laughs> That one says five nine. Okay, but also remember when I Googled Jack, or Jack, why is everyone saying Jack right now? Um, Zach Justice's height, and it was like six inches off. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is fucked too. I was like, oh, he gives off much taller vibes than that. So, so that one says 5'9? Yes. What about? As of September. Well, did he grow at all since September? Well, no, the, that was the, the, the name. The, that website's called The Teal Mango. Oh, okay. Do we trust The Teal Mango? That doesn't sound like a reliable Honestly, his website. His publicist is doing, I mean, I see 6'2 and a fourth. Come on, guys. I'm seeing 6'3 mostly. Yeah. That's that's tall enough for me. This, this is like a, a hinge profile. You're like trying to figure out whether they lied or not. Like, yeah, is he 6'3", yeah, 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 is he 5'9"? Yeah. Five, nine? I don't yeah, know. 6'3 and 5'9 are not close. No, not at all. Yeah. Usually I feel like people cheat it like about two inches. Yeah. But this is this is a lot. Penises and height. Penises and height. Yeah. I'm having a bad bang day today. It was either greasy bangs or like bangs that have a little too much volume. And I think we're leaning in the direction of too much volume. You know what you. fixes bad bang days? Cutting more bangs. Having no bangs. Well. Back to the regularly scheduled program. You know what it was? Is that when my bangs were a little bit like grown out, when we were in Toronto, I took a photo with Haley and like the wind had blown my bangs back and I saw what my forehead looked like. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh no, 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 no. We need to cover that shit up again. I, I, I just have a quick exercise for us. Yeah. Can you name the last three topics we've discussed? <laughs> Me dating white rappers, Mm -hmm. Jack Harlow's height, Mm -hmm. um, bangs, Mm -hmm. me having a bad bang day. Mm -hmm. Um, Before that- I'll just cut it right there. Instafest. What do you think right now, the average person (laughs) is thinking with the both of us having zero, I mean, when when I say there's no- Taurine gets me cracked, okay? Like Lauren is on, like, and I didn't take my ADD medicine today, I gotta be honest, but I feel so wildly uncomfortable in comparison to just like, I feel like the sun and you're just rotating around at all times. Yeah. Okay, take it away, go ahead. No, 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 this is great. I I just wanted to take a moment. People love a fast paced podcast, I feel like. What pace? Oh God, do you have something to say? Because if not, I've got many more things. No, keep going. This is good. <laughs> uh, this freight train is moving. I yeah, no, we are moving. This is, um, this is one of those bullet trains. Now you're crying. I, <laughs> 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 oh God, I have a busy day today. I can tell. This is a good start to it. Monday morning. I know, I'm selling my um, old car today. Nobody asked, next. Uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, so mean. No, if anyone's a white Range Rover with a big old fucking chunk tagging out of the front when Lauren drove into the driveway, <laughs> the it's garage, for sale. The garage door, not just, the driveway. Yeah, well, you're right. Oh. You got into the driveway and then just took your fucking foot off the brake and just watched and you just <laughs> fucking rolled right into the house. It was in neutral and I rolled into the house. We've talked about this before. Um, but we're selling that Range Rover. I, guess I that sat Range Rover right today. in that seat and I've just felt an earthquake, a small into the like, house. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I, I could just fucking see I, her face. And she goes, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know, that's one of those moments where I was
was like, I can't believe I just did that. But also this is hysterical. I wish we had had better camera angles oh, when that happened. Say. I know because it was so fucking funny. Yeah. When I was getting my CarMax quote, they were like, are there any panels that need replacing? And I was like, mm, maybe one What's or two. Your, depends on your definition of replace. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, I did have a car detailer and I was like, ooh, maybe he could buff a lot of it out. Not buffable. The plastic fucking yeah. dent? He's got a buff a dent out? Well, I just want to see what we were working with. Maybe it was buff of, of outable. It wasn't. Yeah. It was not. No, it wasn't. It was not. No, it wasn't. So, so uh, wish us luck. Hopefully by the time this comes out, it's already gone. The, yeah, 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 yeah. It's currently parked in our garage, which has never had a car in it before. And it, it's, it's a whole situation. We have a two car garage that doesn't really fit a car. Yeah, it's because we've got a whole squat rack, our Christmas tree. Yeah, because Lauren's been building that fucking thick ass of hers. Thicky dumpy 2022. Next. Has it not grown so much? Babe, when I tell you, all the things I have to say are so revolting. Um, When I tell you- A simple yes or no will suffice. Try again, run it back. 2022, has my thicky dumpy yes. not grown? Sorry, one more time. 2022, has my thinky, th no. <laughs> one more time, one more time. 2022, has my thicky dumpy grown at all? Yes. A win. A clip. A win. <laughs> Oh, so I have everything for our Christmas photo, except for your outfit has come in because I need some input from you. Okay. Um, because remember we were going back and forth on if our family Christmas photo should be more classic because this is Diggy's first Christmas with our family or if, what? <laughs> what? <Come on. laughs> no, you got this. It's so wholesome. Yeah, I know it's great. Keep I've going. gotten so many questions about what we're going to do for the annual Christmas photo. I'm so glad you have answers. Yeah. Let's talk about it right now. Last year, we kind of did like a stepbrothers kind does of like Does everybody's girlfriend awkward. do this? Is this what? <laughs> does everyone's, or like- Do what? Does, is there somebody in the house who's, who takes it upon themselves to make- The family Christmas A production photo? out of the, the, the annual Christmas photo? Yeah, <laughs> in of every course. family? No, this is great. The couple years in my family that I had the onesie collection, mm -hmm. remember even Nana wore onesies? No, yeah. Yeah, everyone was in a onesie. You, you, you have two kids, you, have you got to. to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have to. You can't not take a Christmas photo no, every year. I know. I know. I just like- You up. also, of of anyone, were like, should we make a gallery wall of our Christmas photos? Yeah, because you put so much effort into them. I know. Thank you. It feels like it falls short of all the, like our, our presentation of said effort. Yeah. Is only for the gram. We should have an in-person- A framed yeah. gallery of True. all the Christmas photos. Yeah. <gasps> Would be Don't great. tempt me with a good time. Would be a great time for a Shutterfly ad. So uh, this year's theme is kind of like uh, an icy silver blue and white. Yeah. So I've got a silver. Which I think every white rapper had that phase as well. I just draw inspiration. <laughs> like you, you could see like the the cover art for like uh -huh. the rapper and like the all white, like icy blue. You know what? Mariah Carey's probably done it before too. Mariah Carey has been making music for so yeah. many decades. She's out of color palettes. Yeah, but I'm sure she's done this one. This is probably one of her first ones. So I've got a metallic- I, I can actually think of which one it would be. I think it's like white and gold though. Mm, yeah. I mean, that's like a classic Christmas combo too. Maybe that can be next year. Sure. So one of the pups has a metallic silver puffer coat, which is adorable. The other one has a blue knit sweater, also adorable. I've got like a sparkly blue top with some white earmuffs. Adorable. <laughs> we'll wear inside, sweating. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, no, it's like a it's like a cute like tank top. Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking for you, white cable knit sweater, or even even a Henley would be okay. I love it. And it's like a blue background with like fluttering snowflakes. <laughs> cute. I can't. Thank wait. you so much, Devin. I love it. Thank I love you. It. Do you have so the background much. already? Yeah. Okay. Great. I have all of it. Okay. Good. Except for your sweater. When's Jesse coming? I know we got to book Jesse to take our Christmas photo. I can't. What date is this? What? What day is this? I don't know. Mid-December. Okay. Probably. I love it. Yeah, it's, you know, it's going to be great. I'm so excited. Awesome. I think it's a great theme. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sad your Jeremy Fest won't work. I'm so bummed. I know. Who do you think his headliners would have been? I think your headliners would have been... This is going to be so out of, out of... Justin Bieber for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. 100%. Because Jeremy at... Any any opportunity will put on um, Justin Bieber. What, what one time? Uh, with, but one I'll, time, one time acoustic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the uh, first single ever. One yeah. time acoustic by Justin Bieber. I kind of like the after his voice changed just a little bit because mm. I thoroughly enjoy how it's about 
it actually starts in this, I think, the original key. Mm -hmm. And then they modulate immediately down like a fourth because it was like probably in the middle of like him turning Puberty. 14. He was yeah. like, yep. Shotty right there. <laughs> Fuck, Scooter, <laughs> fix this. <laughs> I can just see his team being like, we've really got to find some new material. Right, or just got to speed up this puberty. Yeah. Uh, Justin Bieber would be one of your tops for sure. I think he might be the, the, the concert. Yeah, the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. The headliner yeah. and the sporting artist. Yeah. And that's like Jeremy said, Lewis. Fest. I go through my, my, my playlist looks like a, uh, um, and then it would be the Lex Friedman podcast. This is the second high <laughs> headliner. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that would be it. Yeah. So Justin Bieber and Lex Friedman. Wow. Yeah. No Doja Cat. Don't, okay, don't make oh me. My you're, you're like making, oh my God, no. You're like, it's like you're making oh me. No. Oh like, no, the say, trauma, the say, past trauma. Yeah, yeah, like make me talk shit by like her not being in my top. I don't know. I, we actually like don't listen to that much Doja. I don't seek out <gasps> Doja. She's yeah. just on every playlist. She's also, yeah, if Love you listen it. to Pop Rising, she's on it for sure, at least yeah, two she's songs. she's half Pop Rising. Yeah, she's literally all of Pop Rising. Yeah, no, I um, my, my playlist looks like I have um several personalities on any given day. Yeah, which I would not disagree against. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, so the parents are coming. It's uh, it's it's approaching. When this goes up in December, we will be actively one week closer to their arrival. A couple things that I've already prepped. Uh -huh. Our stemware has been properly organized. Yep. And it's in the process of being organized. Yep. I've actually off. I've, I've ordered more I stemware. Have terrible news for you. So Gail is cooking a whole Christmas dinner, mm -hmm. and she requires a ceramic bowl. Mm -hmm. And so I do have to order one more ceramic bowl for cooking things to add to. I know we just purged everything, but Gail needs this and we need this for Gail. Should we get La Crusette? Uh, she actually sent me a link of the ones she wants. Okay, I'll but, take that into consideration. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You I was actually it. thinking we could use more mm -hmm. iron. Um, uh, oh my God, what are they called? Uh, cast iron? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cast iron. Bakeware. Those are so heavy. Yeah, Gail's fine. Yeah, no, 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 she wants, she wants the ceramics. It goes in the oven. Can right. you put cast iron in the oven like that for of that long? Of course you can. I feel like I only, I've La only Crusette, had- the, um, the little Dutch oven? Du pop, pop the La Crusette Dutch I oven I don't right think now. I knew that a Dutch oven existed outside of getting La put under the covers with a Eel. fart. Yep, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't think I knew Dutch oven was an actual cooking thing. That. Oh yeah, that's what a Dutch oven is? Yep. That makes so much sense. You know when someone farts and like traps you under a blanket? No. That's a Dutch oven. I, yeah. <laughs> yes, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's I, a thing. I literally didn't realize that there I'm looking at both of you right now. <laughs> cooking and I, thing I, and I'll say that's it actually a Dutch oven. I'll say it first. <laughs> Men are filth, <laughs> both of you. <laughs> no, no one has ever trapped me under the blanket with really? a fart. <laughs> oh my God. That'd be the last time I'm in that blanket with that person. <laughs> that's a classic. <laughs> I feel like it's like, you've got like the wet willy and then you've got like the pull my finger and then you've got the Dutch oven. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dating men sounds very gross. Literally terrible. Have you heard of a blumpkin? Oh, geez. Oh. I just learned what that is. It's when you get head while you're shitting, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Men are disgusting. Right? I know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Men are disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> I have- Disgusting creatures. I have participated in none of this. That's great to hear. Thank when you I so said much. Dutch oven, yeah. I pulled up La Crusette. I literally can't believe, I, I truly from the bottom of my being did not know that a Dutch oven was actually like a, a real cooking thing. So that's what we're getting, Gail. That's beautiful. Yeah. What color do we want? Mm. So expensive. <sighs> They're worth it though. They last like a forever. forever. Yeah. It's like a pair huh. of Doc Martens. Wow. Those really do last forever. Yeah. Oh my God. My Doc Martens <laughs> went to Coachella and they are in prime condition still. Uh, yeah. I had a couple of friends at theater camp who loved Doc Martens. Yeah. That is a really like theater art kid thing for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine Jeremy in a pair of Doc Martens. That's a hilarious visual. That is a weird that's, sight. Yeah, that's a- I'm gonna that's tell you a, right now, I would have been given off vibes. Yeah, for sure. Vibes. That's, that's, I, that's I know that I can't show up with this hair in Doc Martens and no, not have a couple no, people no, go. No, no, no. Is he? Is he? <laughs> He's giving. Oh, uh, that pumpkin one is so adorable. You would pick the one that's oh like. Oh my God. Also, so why is it Not $370? Yeah. Because it's fucking pumpkin shape. I mean, the classic ones are 200. Oh yeah. my God. But at least you can use that all year round if it's like. We're going to get a, a Dutch oven. I cannot. I cannot. Can we, can we, can, re, can we rename it? Can, yeah. Can you, wait, so has someone given you a Dutch oven before? A hundred percent. 
Lauren, have I ever given you a Dutch oven? No, thank God. How many times have I farted and made you smell? Zero the, times. Yeah. And I've been farted on so many times. That's fucking gross. I know. Not by Jeremy. But like, no, I, no, I, but no, I no. think I might be the only, I remember like growing, this is when I'm like, I'm different. At also age, raised, by a, raised by a single like mom, Like age seven, eight, nine, like fart jokes yeah. have always been so stupid. Really? I've like I've never found joy. That's marriage material. For someone who's never dutched up in someone, that's marriage material. No, that's embarrassing. You know what? From someone who's been dutch up in so many times, I concur. Yeah. That's yeah, gross. You know, I would really love to go through gross. life without being dutch ovened. Again. I, like, babe, <laughs> I'm right here. Straight boys are disgusting. Yeah. Okay, but like you've been farted on. Is that a thing that like girlfriends do amongst each other? They just like no! toot at each other? No. <laughs> I do not toot on my girlfriend. <laughs> like imagining Mia being like, ha <laughs> No, absolutely not. But you're so right. Guys totally do that to each other. Oh, oh yeah. I'm not kidding. Like I just feel like that's fucking gross. Yeah, yeah. Don't fucking Don't do that. look at me. I would, yeah, I, if I could go through life without ever being farted on or Dutch oven ever again, I am living the life. Sign yourself up for it, the life. <sighs> what a win. By the way, I hope one of your friends has farted you now, just to kind of just- Just to kind of get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. If, if we come back and like Mia just lets one on you. To be honest, I don't really have any farty friends that are like really like, like open about that. <laughs> really? Farty friends. I don't have any farty friends. Okay. Um, the one's gassy. Take it. Take inventory. Oh no, no, no! I mean, most of my friends are. That's not true. I would say Remy is. I knew you were gonna say Remy. Yeah, Remy has the most tummy problems. I think, out of maybe all of us. Did, you're calling Remy. You're gonna just gonna put her on blast. Like <laughs> I'm not saying she's a farty friend. I'm saying that she has equally as severe tummy problems as I do. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to add. I love Remy so much. I'm not saying she's a farty friend, but I also know that she would not disagree that she has tummy problems. Okay. As do I. No, yeah, totally. So I have a segment planned for today. I, please get to it. <laughs> I have a segment planned today um, in uh, preparation for our parental units arriving. Oh, that's what I was saying. Oh, pause your segment. So I've got stemware on the, on the organ organizing yes. list. I've ordered a full set of eight plates of several sizes, dinner plates, salad plates, different bowls, new ser just new serveware. Mm -hmm. I even ordered two different varieties of new uh, cutlery. <gasps> and we're gonna pick which one. Yeah, yours are gone. No. Yeah, Lawrence had not this like- Not my holographic cutlery. Yeah, from Ikea, it's gone. No. Can we keep the two mm. forks that I stole from yes. horses? Yeah, you can. You can. <laughs> Yeah, like Lauren like walked out the other day of a restaurant like and like purposefully stole their fork. Oh. It was the cutest mini fork in the entire world. She goes, Should I steal this? Literally. And what what would you have done if they caught you? At the dinner, I was like, <laughs> I was, you know the TikTok that's like, you're coming home with me. Oh, of course. Literally, I saw the mini fork and I was like, I'm not leaving without this. <laughs> like uh, you anyway. TikTok has people out here stealing. Yeah. They truly do. I saw this totally. thing on TikTok. It's so called stealing. TikTok yeah. told me that as the audio literally played in my Grand head theft. as I saw it. So um, yeah, so I ordered a bunch of shit from Crate and Barrel Love and that. it's coming any day now, maybe even today. <gasps> yeah. That's so exciting. So we get to choose. I, I, I picked- a, a, What are the two colors or is it shape? So one's, no, 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 one's mirrored uh -huh. and one's- A little more- More satin. A little more matte. And I, and I couldn't decide which one. So the one that was mirrored actually had way better reviews. Okay. Well, actually- it had more five star views. This okay. is like the, the their 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 top tier one. Mm -hmm. So I was like, but maybe it only has more reviews because the mirrored one was cheaper mm. and so more people bought it. Right. Because like the, the non mirrored one was like twice as expensive. Oh. So I, I ordered both. Yeah. We can pick which one, okay. send the other one back. Uh -huh. That's a set of twenty. Oh wow. Yeah. So we're gonna have new everything. Our parents are going to potentially mm -hmm. be confused and and mistake our temporary organization mm -hmm. for maturity. Love that for us. That's the whole goal, right? Love that for us. Jeremy was working, was doing yard work yesterday with Just a- some low voltage lighting. With a headlamp on. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Housewife Jeremy is thriving. He is in full effect right now. I I, I just noticed that some of the, the landscape lighting after yeah. we, we changed some things around with Jeremy's the Jeremy's a big lighting guy, with big the, lighting guy. With the, with the, but we had some new flowers put in. I was like, the yeah. lighting's all off. Uh -huh. It needs to be revisited. Mm -hmm. So I got out the old low voltage gear and I got to work. 
Wow. And now we're loading outside. Is Y'all are quite, adulting. Yeah. I don't think that I deserve to be in that category. <laughs> I'm out here drinking candy apple um, energy drinks. Yeah. So I do have a segment planned for today. Um, and this this first one, we're gonna start off light. Okay. And, do you wanna name the segment? Uh, I, I know what we should name it. What? The Naughty List. The Naughty List. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this one's called, let's fight about these 13 controversial Christmas questions. Right. And again, we're starting very surface level and we'll get deeper and more controversial as we get into it. Lauren and I discussed, and we both agree yeah. that there should be a list. A blacklist. This Christmas season. That blacklist is intended only mm -hmm. for two people. Mm -hmm. Two people. Yeah. Greg, you're out of this. Yeah, Greg is, is good. He's safe. Donna. Donna and Gail. This list is for you. Yeah, yeah. And this I'm is gonna be honest, I, every time, even in your presence, I've given my mom a blacklist of things that she's not allowed to bring up. And so we're just like gonna- what? We're gonna just deepen. Oh, she gets she gets really into like the COVID vaccine stuff, I feel like. Oh, she loves. She loves the COVID vaccine stuff. And so, and listen, we are pro-vax, we are vaccinated. Right. And so she still goes deep into the vaccine stuff, which I love. And um, I just I just told her she's got to go easy on like the intense vaccine, like pro-vax rants that she goes on. It's well, all justified. Well, because it, 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 it strays from pro-vax at a certain point mm -hmm. and becomes anti um, any other thought or opinion. Mm -hmm. And that's where the line for me is like, well, like, listen, as a guy who did get several jabs, mm -hmm. there are people out there in the world who don't that have that opinion. And I think that's okay. Don't fully agree with that. Do you, that people shouldn't be able to have their own opinion? People can have their own opinion, but I feel like when COVID was like actively killing so many people, I mean, listen, we're not gonna get into this. We had two years of this discussion. Question one, which is the correct choice for a Christmas tree, real or artificial? I think artificial. I- With pets. I, I love an artificial tree. I think they just look perfect. And I think actually one of the hardest parts about having a real tree is disposing of it afterwards. So I went through a phase when I got to LA mm -hmm. that I found this, this company that would drop off a tree. Oh, but then you don't get to pick it out. Yeah, that I- That's the that's the most fun part. Yeah, not all of us like live in like the middle of like fucking Sticks, Canada. Like tree farm place. Yeah. yeah. We, used to, like, we used to go to a literal tree like farm walk and pick me through out a in tree. Los Angeles where uh -huh. we're picking out trees. There are literally so many tree farms where they literally bring in the trees that you can go to. You can also get a cup of oh, hot so, cocoa. So they bring in the trees? Yeah, Sounds but then you like get to go pick it. You're not going to pick it. No, if you're not cutting it down, I don't want to hear it. Okay. All right. Yeah. If you're you not want the authentic. Well, experience. if I'm going to go pick one, yeah. I want to go pick one. Okay. But I don't want to pick one. Um, the amount of bugs, mm -hmm. the amount of I've never had needles, a bug situation. The amount of just, oh my, no, of the real ones. I've never had a bug oh, situation yeah, no, with it, real ones. But you gotta remember, Los Angeles is just like, there's so much that needs to happen in this city that's not supposed to happen in this city. Mm -hmm. You know, like look around and like we have green grass. Mm -hmm. That's not natural. Mm -hmm. You know, and like, I just feel like we just like, we have to like bring some of this shit in. And totally. the point is I had a tree drop off yeah. and I made the mistake the first year and didn't check the $29 extra to come pick that fucking tree up. Yeah, that's and the hardest part. I'm not kidding. I thought my neighbor was gonna kill me because the uh -huh. apartment complex, I must've been the only fucking one who got a real tree. Yeah. And it just sat there by the dumpster that nobody picked <gasps> up for forever. Oh my God. Yeah, that's the hardest part. Have you seen the videos of people throwing Christmas trees? Yeah, just off their balcony. Off their balcony? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, by the way, like, to a degree, it's like, what else are you gonna fucking do? Yeah, no, 100%. Like, is your tree gonna fit in the elevator? And I don't also, know. It's not gonna fit down the garbage chute, that's for sure. But also when you go to pick it up yeah. and get it out, when you get it, it's all, all the little like needles are soft mm -hmm. and like they're not- And yeah. then they're dry and hard by the end of Christmas. I mean, you might- So they're understand. falling off easily. Yeah, yeah it's like a, yeah. you're going to get a, um, what's that kind it's like of- a, It's like a shedding dog in shedding season, basically. Mm -hmm. No, it's like a fucking like bad acupuncturist, acupuncturist. It's like a bad acupuncture fucking like session trying to get that thing down to the elevator. Oh yeah, yeah. We were talking about the fallout of the of the the, the needles. Um, but I'm talking about into your skin. Yeah. So 59% voted. Oh wait, hang on. Hang Isn't on. it so much maintenance too? Yeah, you gotta water you it. You gotta water it. Wow, yeah. almost a 50-50 split on the correct choice being real and artificial. Okay. Um, do adults in your family get gifts from Santa? Yes. I also agree that if you want to get a gift from Santa, that's okay. No, Donna, Why not? Donna always gives. From Santa? Always, always receives from Santa. Receives from- what, what does that mean to you guys though? Are they buying the gift for themselves? 
No, 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 no. Is that like, if I give Jeremy a gift on like the tag, I would just write from Santa, right? Yeah. 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 So we're into that kinky shit. Mm -hmm. Next question. Which are better, white lights or colorful? <laughs> quick. What, what was or that? Which are better, white lights or colorful? Mm, colorful all the way. I think if colorful can be neatly organized, I think colorful looks great. Like I love a house that's just got like clean lines of colorful lights. So you're saying like all colorful lights, lives matter? Yes. Mm, hot take. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Better than saying white light lives matter. True. <laughs> white lights lives matter. Yeah. Um, I am, it depends. Okay. And it really also depends to me, and this is actually a Donna rule, colorful lights mm -hmm. have to come down after Christmas. But white, white lights, lights can stay up can longer. Can stay up through like mm. halfway through January. Yeah. I was just telling Jeremy as we were walking the pups the other day that I wanted so bad, nothing more when I lived at home to have icicle lights. I thought they were just like, it was yeah. like new, icicle lights were new. I thought they were no, they so weren't. pretty. But icicle, but I, if you were when alive- I was like 10? You think icicle lights came out in 2002? I don't know. I think the icicle can lights we, are so Can we look pretty. up the invention of icicle lights? Oh, look how cute they look. They're so cute. Our neighbor's putting together such a good like like display of his. Like, why don't we have any lights up? Because it's so expensive to put them up and down if you do hire like a professional and also neither of us are, are savvy enough. Okay, that was the biggest insult you've ever given me. <laughs> I won't have it. 1996 when I was born. Get the fuck out of here, wow. Devin. 96? Wow. Yeah. 96? Hey, I could have been born in the 2000s, but then we really have a problem. Th then we really have a problem. You're so right. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'd be babysitting. Yeah, yes. seriously. <laughs> um, okay, big bulbs or little bulbs? I like a, I like a little bulb for sure. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Is the right, when is the right time to open presents? Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, or Christmas night? Christmas Ooh. Eve. Okay. Well, you open your presents on Christmas Eve? No, I'm, I'm like shocked that that would even be an option. I feel like I knew a lot of families where it's like you were allowed to pick one present to okay. open on okay. Christmas all Eve. Right. Okay, okay, all right, all right. We are not taking Christmas feedback from the only Jewish person in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get presents from Santa on I Christmas never did Day? I Hanukkah. <laughs> really? I always did Christmas. You knew Hanukkah? Wow. Yeah, never. You, you believe that? Ever fucking light the menorah? Never. Really? My dad was always pissed about it because he lived that growing up yeah. and loved it. And my mom was like, I mean, if, if oh, you want to do it, do it. Hanukkah and he out? didn't. Oh, yeah, she did. Oh, she was so, like, we're doing like, Christmas. Take the initiative to do Hanukkah. And, and if you don't want to do it. And he didn't take the initiative. And hmm. Wow. That's Men. <laughs> but also we were really interested. We weren't religious, didn't go to temple. Where's the menorah? Yeah. <laughs> we took our free birthright trip and that was it. <laughs> See. Oh. Um, so this is, uh, there's, there's, there's layers to this answer. Okay. One option C is stupid. Yeah, so Christmas anyone, night? That's stupid. Absolutely not. That has 2% when I'm looking at the results. So you open your gifts from your family mm -hmm. on Christmas Eve. What? And you open your gifts from Santa on Christmas day. You must've got a lot of gifts. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. Yeah. I opened all my gifts on Christmas morning. Yeah. From Santa and parents? Yeah, everyone, yep. we did stocking, open those first, and then we go downstairs to the tree and open gifts from Santa and family. No, we, had, we had a multi-pronged- oh, you know We did, there was, phases. Christmas was in two parts on Christmas day. So Christmas, 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 Christmas? Christmas? with just my parents was in the morning. Yeah. And then we went over to Nana and Papa. Actually, we got a three part Christmas situation. Oh. So when um, we would do my dad's side of the family on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. And so you open a round of presents um, from my dad's side on Christmas Eve. And then Christmas morning was just my parents and I, and then Christmas daytime was my mom's side of the family. God, yes, it sounds a lot like what I just said. No, but Christmas, Santa's in the morning. Yep. Christmas Eve and Christmas day is family. Right. Still open up presents. You literally only have, one, you have literally one yeah. difference, which is just adding an afternoon session. Right. Um, right. Christmas morning is our situation, right? Um. I think till we have kids. Right. I like the idea of opening, um, what you get to pick one on Christmas Eve. Yeah. That's cute. What if it's the big one? Maybe you hide the big one. Mm, so that they don't, that. They, yeah, they don't. I asked every Christmas on Christmas Eve, please, please, can I open up just one? Please. 
No, you have to wait. Please. I feel like I knew a few families too who did stocking opening on Christmas Eve and then present opening on I Christmas like that. Day. I've, you know what? I've experienced that before. Yeah. Yep. Oh, remix. Uh, yeah, you know, the amount of Catholic girls I've dated. Wow. They all have their own tradition. Okay, yeah. all right. Besides birth control. If you open your presents on Christmas morning, what are the rules? Okay, so open them as soon as you were awake up, even if others are still asleep. <laughs> I've been hanging around with Zach Justice way too long. <laughs> or wait for everyone to wake up together. So you, oh, wait for everyone to wake up so you can open them together. What was your question? If you open your presents on Christmas morning, what are the rules? Wake up oh, and open them, even if you're by yourself, the or wait for has everyone. to um, go and fucking bug everybody at 6.30 yeah. in the morning. Uh -huh. That's to the open rule. open presents. And the older siblings then tell that kid to shut up. And then they get probably a couple more hours of sleep and then you do it all together. Yep. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. any parent be mad if their kid went and opened a presents without yeah, them watching? Seriously, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's- That's super fucked up. That's, that's parental abuse. I agree. Yeah. What belongs at the top of the tree? Should it be a star or an angel? Donna votes angel for sure. You want to just put a dildo up there and see what they say? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think that we would have balance issues, to be honest. You think? I think we'd have balance issues. Okay. Um, uh, uh, star. 100% a star. Except for at some point, in, I think, I can't remember if we still have a star, but last year, no, 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 many years throughout my family. I, I just talked about this last episode is that we had an angel that had two Toronto Maple Leaf hockey team bulbs hanging off both wings. We will not be partaking in that tradition this year. I don't know, Greg. Greg would be elated if he I walked he in would. and that was our situation. I know he would. Um, what do you call this classic gift exchange? White elephant or Yankee swap? What in the fuck is a Yankee swap? Oh, really? I think Yankee Swap is more of the like work environment term that they would use. Like my mom at work would do a Yankee oh, Swap, but like, like me and my friends would do this the white elephant. White elephant. This is an East Coast thing. I can feel it. Yeah, hundred percent. A is Yankee a, Swap. A Yankee Swap. That that nothing west of the Mississippi has ever been called a Yankee. A Yankee. Swap. I've never even heard of that. Never. White elephant. When is it okay to start playing Christmas music <gasps> after Halloween, after Thanksgiving, only in December, or all year long? I haven't gotten in the car throughout the year when pentatonics isn't on repeat. Yeah, fuck my life. <laughs> I think only in December, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm a post Thanksgiving kind of guy. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah, Also, unless it's ironic and the weather is hot. And that's weird. Christmas in July? That's weird. Well, listen, instant well, Christmas you know what? Also, all year round. Santa Tell Me by Ariana Grande is such a bop that I could listen to that yeah. at any See? point in the year. See, yeah. Mistletoe by Justin Bieber. Oh, big that's, mistletoe yeah, fan. Big mistletoe fan. Big Kelly Clarkson fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big Buble fan. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Buble kind of gal. You can see yourself out. Not a Buble kind of gal. We'll go. When opening presents in a group, do you go one at a time or all at once? One at a time. One at a time. 100. percent Yeah, one at a time. And all at once is is that's, is is peak brat. Also, like how to make your family situation last six seconds long all at once? Yeah, I've had a couple years, but that would have been nice. But yeah. Okay. How do you feel about family Christmas letters? No, I hate it. What do you mean family Christmas letters? Hate it. What hate does that it. mean? What's that? I think like writing notes to each other. To your family? Yeah. Saying how much you love them? Yeah, well. Oh, great. I'm not gonna tell you what you're trying your letter. I've never even heard of that. I wait, wait. despise, I, I would have had to type it. Right. So. Oh, babe, I would love a handwritten letter from you. I look like. It's so endearing. My handwriting looks like a third grader did his best. Yeah. And it wasn't very good. No. Oh shit. It's, and like, it's kind of like your handwriting stopped maturing after grade three. I there's it, there's there should be an infographic out there yeah. of like everybody else's just like general, mm -hmm. you know, clean, like, oh, this is looking better. Oh, it's better. Oh, they've obviously been doing this for longer. I mean, I think peak is end of high school, beginning of college, because you're like sometimes a lot of girls like write their notes really cute. Like, you know, the girls in high school that used to dot their eyes with like hearts and shit or like bubbles. I mean, wasn't me. By the way, like nothing tells me you need a hobby more, mm -hmm. like like hearted eyes. Than happy time. And I've also seen some beautiful college notes that've got like underlines and they've got like color I would like to know actually, notes. is there a, a relation, like what the ratio is to yeah. people who heart their eyes yeah. and end up with severe daddy issues by 26? Mm -hmm. Cause I think that there's a lot more. I think so too. Tying those two together yeah, than anyone's I, really I thinking about. I don't disagree. Yeah, the girl with the hearted eyes, she doesn't even know that dad's cheating on mom right now. Do Harry Potter movies count as Christmas movies? Yes or no? Do they count as? Yeah. 
No. I think no, yeah. right? What? Although no. there are some Christmas scenes. I've never, There's elements. I've never even thought. All right, Agrid. Wow, this is a 40 to 60 yes. percent. Yeah, 40% said The better question is, totally is Die Hard movies. a Christmas movie? Absolutely the fuck and not. And the answer is yes. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. And finally, when should Christmas decorations come down? Right after Christmas or leave them up for at least a few weeks? Yes, Scrooge. Well, so in our nativity scene, the baby yes. Jesus will stay- The one stay. underwater? will stay <laughs> in his little crib. Yeah, she's- Remember we talked about it? this at the bottom of the pool. Are the we still, you guys still doing that? No, yeah. that's the dumbest design, like idea ever. Oh, I loved it. It's kind of fun. Babe, think about how you could light that up. Submerged Jesus? Yeah. Jesus has all, he, what, didn't the, he's got all kinds of gifts and shit. I'm sure he can breathe underwater. He literally walks on water. True. Right. So why can't he walk on the ground uh, underwater? Not amphibian. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, like, let's let's go back to my answer here. I think color needs to come down after maximum mm. January one, max Jan one. What? But then you can keep your white lights up. Oh no no no! Christmas like decor like in the house I think too. Right, I'm saying <gasps> Christmas stuff comes down Jan one. No. Yeah. No. Yeah yeah. You can keep up wintry things. Yeah. Christmas is over. Oh I disagree. I think sometime in the first week of January, but like, I feel like there's a couple days in like the beginning of January, like generally like one, two, three, four, where it's like part of that period where like, you don't know what fucking day it is and you okay. just sit and do nothing. So actually the Christmas season does go through. I think the wise men, I think we had to like do 10 or 14 more days. Look that up. I believe it goes until like January 11th. Well, thank God for what, the wise men. Um, look up like Christmas, um, uh, calendar, <laughs> but like, Jesus Wise version. Men? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ooh. Yeah, Wise Men Journey. Yeah. 25, well, but starting when? Oh, Jesus. Uh. <laughs> this is a cult. Um, I thought they were holding a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Say how many weeks oh Wise God. Men Christmas? Wow, in peripheral glance, that was three children holding something so inappropriate. Yeah, 12 days, yeah, yeah. So, but like, when's the end? What's, what are the days? January ranger? 6th. Oh, thank God. Wow. We'd be taking that shit down at the end of January. No, no, really, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, cause it's snowy on the East Coast. So. Oh yeah, you're so right. It like, felt like Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also February. like January and February on the East Coast are like a little depressing. So like, keep it a little happy inside. Right. Like exactly. take what you can get. Seasonal depression. Seasonal depression. We have waited real. till March before. Wow. There's been a year, yep. Wow, that's kind of happy. I kind of like that. You celebrate Christmas more then yeah, so hardcore Christians. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I've got some more. Um, ugly Christmas sweaters need to die out. No, I think that's okay too. Why are ugly? Why would they need to go? Yeah, uh, I agree. They're amazing. People think they're so expensive and tacky. So expensive, ugly Christmas sweaters. They are pretty expensive now. They're supposed to be tacky. Yeah, there's, what, that's, who's who's spending a lot of money on Christmas? I sweaters? feel like people spend like upwards of like fifty dollars on an ugly Christmas sweater. Yeah, but like she is right. Yeah, they're knitted. Yeah. You can definitely get like a polyester one, like a polyester blend. Listen, at any point in time, you like want to fucking knit your own for free. That's Go true. ahead. Um, We're DIY up in this bitch. Boxing Day lunch is way better than Christmas dinner, and for the yeah, that, that's, Americans, that sentence makes no Boxing sense. Boxing Day is December twenty sixth. Yeah, so say that. But it says Boxing Day. Also, you know when fucking Boxing Day is. Just get on board. Um, get on board. Bo so they're saying Boxing Day dinner is better than Christmas. Lunch, lunch. When you're eating leftovers. No. It's definitely not better, but I do enjoy a Boxing Day lunch because I feel like on Christmas dinner, you've eaten so much shit throughout the day that like you're kind of full by the time you eat dinner. So Hot the next take, day- I hate leftovers. Yeah, you do hate leftovers. Not in a leftover. I Except am, for pizza. Yeah, no. Pizza I'm and Wildly wasteful. Steak. I can't believe you said that. Eh, fuck off. No, I don't no, like we, I leftovers. I feel like we, we, like when we do like make steak or whatever it is, like we make enough that we never have like a leftover issue. I don't like leftovers. I don't like the cleanup of it. I want mm -hmm. it to be just like, I want it to go into the trash, put everything into the, the dishwasher and mm -hmm. start again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love leftovers. I hate leftovers. I also enjoy leftovers. Yeah. Oh. My yeah. mom and I- You get to I, have the meal a second time. A second time. <laughs> yeah, see? <Great. laughs> yeah, I just, you know, it's not for me. Um, I hate Elf on a Shelf. Okay, next question. I feel like Elf on the Shelf was like a, a Gen Z growing up type of thing. Yeah. I definitely did not have I, Elf I didn't on the know Shelf. About him. I did not Elf on a Shelf. Yeah, I did not Elf on a Shelf either. Red and green is the most awful color combination. 
It wouldn't be my first choice. Yeah, but I feel like it's so like the only option for Christmas that I don't even think about like what they look like to get. Like, obviously if it was June, like would I pair red and green together? No. Right. But like, it's Christmas. But it's, and it's so true to Christmas. Like if you put red and green together at any point in time throughout the year, you're like, wow, it looks like Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like yeah. What, are the, what are the two colors? Like, oh, that looks like. Black, black and orange, I'd say, are the only other ones. You mean blue and black or white and gold? We're not going to do this. We are not. What'd you see, by the way? What'd you see? Uh, I honestly could see both. I started with black and blue and then. I started with black and blue as well. Yeah. And then I remember I smoked weed uh -huh. and I looked at it. It was white and gold. And I was wow. like, what's the only shit? Cause like I saw both, I literally saw both sides. <laughs> yeah, no, I also did too. Yeah. Uh, don't ask people for a Christmas list if you're gonna ignore it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I uh, I don't hate that perspective. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I also, agree. Um, I wish it was more acceptable to just tell people what you want. Lauren's subscribed to that since day one. Yeah, I really do too. Like why stress the other person out Lauren's and make them panic? All but been like, so I want this and I'm gonna give you this and I've actually already bought it. And so here's I the I never link. tell you what I get you. Your Christmas gift is done though. What did you get me? Did I not just say I'm not gonna tell you? Okay, but who knows so that I can get information out of them? I haven't told anyone. Nobody? Bought it on my own. Wanna look at me right now. You're yeah. telling me you've told no one what you got from me for Christmas? Zero people. Swear zero on people? both of our dog's lives. I've told zero people. <gasps> you didn't even tell the dogs? The dogs just know. We've got the we've got the 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 telepathy. And I've got a lock. I want to get Lauren. Don't worry. I've got it right here. I've got it here. <laughs> and um, future me is going to execute on that thought. You know who taught me this is that one year I think pre me my mom was like <laughs> I'm sorry pre me pre me <laughs> so like 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 B C yeah B C <laughs> B L before Lauren <laughs> so like there's B L and then A L yeah. After Lauren. You know, AD doesn't stand for after death. What? What does it stand for? Anno Domini. I believe. That's stupid. Look that up. What? Yeah. What does AD Anno stand for? Domini. I believe it's Latin. Anno. That, that's giving Latin space, vibes for sure. Well, it's two words. Just space. Anno what? Space. D. D A. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Anno yep. Domini. An epoch. Domini? Based on the traditionally reckoned year of the conception or birth of Jesus of Nazareth. Yeah. It's not after death. I don't think anyone knows that. I do. Also, but like, why would they do BC and AD? Like that's dumb, follow the pattern. <laughs> hey, I got a, a quick um, thought. In the year zero, uh -huh. when they weren't using English really at all. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, they, they chose were, Latin? Well, that or, well, really would probably would have been Hebrew. Well, actually it would have been Greek first. And then Latin, well, Latin then Greek. I'm not sure. Point is, not after death. Wow, that is absolutely shocking. So Anno, Loremi. So, <laughs> um, my mom one year just like left it up to my dad to just like, just go rogue on Christmas gifts. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> don't do great. No, babe, <laughs> no, don't do this. And so this, this is, is- Okay, this could have happened to, okay, okay. And so yeah, my mom- Don't do this For to Christmas that year, got TV table trays. Hannah, bleep this out. And, bleep this and out. Hannah, a bleep it out. dust buster. <laughs> Oh my God. And so moving forward that year, she just like had a very clear, like here are things that I would love or need. And moving <laughs> forward, everyone in our family was very straightforward because of the TV tray <laughs> incident that my dad will never live down. Okay. Sweet man. You know what? Sweet Greg. I think it's emergency press conference time. Real quick, if you are a guy listening to this podcast, <laughs> if you've ever thought about getting your significant other a cleaning tool, you need to just reevaluate for as a gift. You get that. You get yourself that, and then hope that they use it. Okay. Yeah. You don't buy. Right. I might as well like buy you um a like a, a like diet a, pills like a sandwich maker diet pills. Yeah. 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 And uh, I sandwich <laughs> maker. It's so bad. Well, no, you already have a girlfriend. Better bad gifter. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy usually actually is really good. Yeah, I just I go, to, think, I I just go overspend at Cartier. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, <laughs> gifts are great. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you know the cheat code? Spend a lot of money in an expensive store. That's that's true. One I, did, time, I didn't spend that much money on you though. I just want to give you a heads up. Oh. She said not worth it. Yeah, what the fuck? Less than 500. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? Jimmy wants the, more. You better go buy the fucking gift. Less than 500. We said oh we were going to do gifts this year. So I just got you like something. I, we never said that. Medium. I never said that. I never said that. When did I say that? 
I don't know. I feel like we were like, oh, do we want to do gifts this year? Like maybe not. Listen, this is better than my dad gifting my mom a used camera that he used to use. His own camera? His own Shut camera. Up. It almost, I thought my parents were, we're getting divorced that <laughs> day. <laughs> also, that's like just, you're wrapping up something that's already in your home. Yeah. Also, that also implies that like she wasn't allowed to was use it. marriage was almost ended. Yeah, that she wasn't allowed to use it when it was already in the household. Right. Yeah. So it like, was so bad. So like she opened it up and like, what did she say? It like immediately was like, oh, is this funny? Like, is this- Is this a, like a gag Is this gift? a joke? Yeah. <gasps> and he was so serious. Oh my God. The whole God. day was ruined. Oh my God. Boys are so- They're, Men are Dutch bad Dutch ovening gifters. and giving used gifts from the households. I buy Cartier and I know what Dutch ovens are. I'm the fucking- Marriage material. Oh my God. Marriage I would, material. I would marry me. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I'll circle back on that gift. I guess we're getting okay. each other fucking uh, candy apple suckers for that price point. Oh, love. Okay, so here is a list of little more, like the deeper topics that will for sure need to be covered and blacklisted for I was wondering when we were getting parents. to any of these, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, politics. Politics is number one. I think we just we just set up a debate um, night one and get it yeah, all out. Yeah, and just get it all out, yeah. put everything on the table. Yeah. Yeah. And we have somebody come in and moderate and judge who did a better job. I think Donna would die. Do you do it night one or do you do it the last night? Oh, it's like the send off. The last night of everyone together is Christmas night. No, let's do it yeah. then. I, no, I mean, I think they would, uh, yeah, no. I don't think Gil would shy, would shy away from an actual debate. No, yeah, no, totally. It, it's a, it's a, person, a personality flaw in all of the all of their like, accords. It's terrible. It's not great. Who would want to talk about that? Yeah, I know. You and your mother. Well, I just have to remind her when she's wrong. Uh, like Thanksgiving, I'm not kidding. The three hour political debate that they had and I just excused myself I mean, it fully. Was, okay, but the thing is like people that like are, are obsessed with politics yeah. can find a way to make anything political. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's and so it true. And just like, okay, well, let's just talk about your logic for a second. Yeah. Uh, Cause you don't even agree with you. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I'm like, listen, Tucker Carlson, shut up. <laughs> Um, okay, relationship related things like expectations of when you're getting married or exes, if you're gonna get back with this person, when is, your wedding is. That you think that's gonna come up on, at our? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> say, well, no. Donna said the sweetest thing though when oh she was God. visiting. This was so sweet. And Jeremy, I'm actually shocked that you shared this with me. Yeah, but feel free to share it with everybody else. <laughs> It was so sweet. I don't think we've talked about what. Go ahead. We can't talk about it. No. Well, we're talking about it now. <laughs> I want to hear. Yeah, I, I want to hear. See, people on the are on the edge of their seats. Yeah. It was so sweet. Well, we're gonna talk about it when we were at dinner. I think on the last night, and I don't even know how it came up between the two of you. I think because we were we were talking about how we went ring shopping because she wanted to see photos and stuff. Um, when I went to the bathroom, she said to Jeremy, "No, oh, you totally wrong, wrong time." Okay, you you retell. You retell. No, it was just at the airport. Oh, oh, was it the airport? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was when I went to the bathroom during dinner. It's the last thing she said to me. It's the last thing she said to me. You want to tell them what, what she said? That's so nice. Some you, context would be helpful. You tell it. No. So, I mean, well, I don't know how it even came up. It, was it just out of the blue? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So in the context of pertaining to engagement, she was like, don't make her wait too long. Oh my God. I can't believe those were her parting words. See and, I, and I looked back and I said, so like four more years? <laughs> and she said- A single tear rolled, rolled down Donna's cheek. Four more years, yeah. That is the ultimate like confirmation of approval from a parent. For real? That was for you. And mine was realizing that your mom would be totally fine with us having out of wedlock children. A hundred percent. Both yeah. very sweet. Yeah, hundred percent. Gail, Gail's priority right now is grandchildren. Bastard children. Yeah, bastard children, exactly. Oh, this next one, future children. That was awesome. Future children. As if on cue. As if on cue. And we're not talking about that. Yeah. That's dinner or at Christmas. For no, sure. no, no, I don't think so. No. I will say that that probably would be a shared interest though. Shared interest, but then it'll get into, they'll find a way to make that political. You know what though? I feel like the similarities though of both of them like saying now being adamant about like not uprooting their lives at all, like for the sake of grandkids. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like both would be thrilled with the child. Yep. And both would be, both have the opinion that they won't uproot their life, uproot their life. I think they both would have said they wouldn't fly here for Christmas a couple of years ago as well. And now here we are, a Look Christmas all together. Um, employment choices. 
Uh, that's funny for a reason we can't discuss. Next. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go <laughs> ahead. Uh, old family fights or scandals that that definitely won't come up. There's nothing. There's nothing there that I think would. Also, my family, aside from like the TV tray incident, um, BL. Like, I don't think my family's ever had like a Christmas day. That's actually not true. That's actually not true. Um, on my dad's side, there have been some some quarrels, some tiffs, some quarrels and tiffs. Yeah. Um, but that definitely that. wouldn't come up. I, if it does, we've run out of things to discuss. Yes, yeah, seriously. Oh my God, someone's weight. My Nana, when she was like um, starting to develop Alzheimer's, honestly, even before that, would always tell me if I was getting fat. She would literally like poke stomach and say that. I think that just the grandmas born before 19... 19- 40. My mom has always said that like, as you get older, you you start to not give a fuck about what people think when you say things. Yeah. 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 So yeah. she's just like po- poking at the jelly. Poking at the jelly yeah. saying, getting fat. Meanwhile, my grandma would tell me every time I saw her for the first time, mm-hmm. I was getting taller, even when I was 27 years old. That's nice though. I'm like, I don't think I'm getting any taller, Graham. I think it's been 10 years since I've grown. That's nice though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And she would point out that you were fat. Yeah, exactly. That's so nice. That's so nice. Also, she was probably getting shorter. So she, you probably were getting taller to her. Right. And were you getting thicker? Sometimes. <laughs> okay. <got> it. <laughs> it's been fluctuating, you know? Yeah, I get it. There was a lot of times where she wasn't wrong that right. I was gaining weight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the price of anything. I don't think that would come up. The price of anything. The price of anything. Uh, how much you pay for this? Yeah. Our how... parents don't want to hear the answer Yeah, no, no. Our parents don't want to hear the answer <laughs> to that. Um, inheritance issues. My mom told me that Inherit they're what? spending my inheritance because they're redoing their kitchen and they both just got new cars. So I have to continue making YouTube videos for the sake of not having an inheritance anymore. I never had one, so it's okay. Okay, all right. Uh, complaints about the food. My mom's a great cook. There won't be any complaints. Anybody complain about food that they did not make? This is Greg's philosophy right here and why their marriage continues to work because my dad will enjoy and eat literally anything that gets put on a plate in front of him. And Lauren's never really cooked, so. <laughs> right, and so we've never had that issue. So I've never had anything to critique. Yeah, exactly. That's not true. Sometimes when I have made food, you've you've been honest. <laughs> and then it's even worse because he doesn't even try and choke it down. It just goes directly into the, the, and the I'm just, trash. I'll just worry something else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that is why, ladies it's, and gentlemen, I do not cook. That is not why you don't cook. <laughs> Yeah, but like I would, I would never. I, if you don't like the food, I would never. Lauren, that's not why you don't cook. That's I, not. Let's not play this game. I really, I really don't enjoy yeah, cooking. The don't. Yeah. Uh, By the way, and I don't expect you to cook. Thank God. Unsolicited fitness tips. Yeah, though this is all just. But also, like I, I would be so like that. W- it would be so uninteresting and like not just like funny to me that I would even take offense to it. Yeah. My mom who is super, super athletic and ripped. Um, actually, I don't know if was, she would describe herself as athletic because she's not very coordinated. Like she can't like, she's not great at sports, but she's super fucking fit. She just like enjoys coming along for whatever workout I'm doing. Yeah. Which is great. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Uh, generational complaints. Oh, that's, that's We've unavoidable. Got no grandparents though. Unavoidable. Generational complaints? Yeah, they, oh, compl- they complain about things. I feel like Donna's got a lot of, a lot of- uh, Oh, just, yeah. just, if we could just get back to the good old days when uh, Reagan was around. <laughs> yeah, that would be- I thought you were, th- I was I was thinking more of like the things that like her dad did. Sure, that too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she's got a story for all that, which is, it's just like, I guess when I get older, I'll just talk about how things, despite not being as efficient as they are today, were better for mm-hmm. some- reason or another. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's nothing more boomer than just referring to things that no longer exist as better. (laughs) And it's like, I, what's, what's so sad is like, I'm starting to see like the millennials who now that like fashion is coming back on comments. They're like, I lived through this era. And it's like, you are doing the thing that is making you feel and, and, uh, and appear so much more archaic than you need to already. Right. I do want to make a quick statement here. Again, emergency press conference that I will not wear a low rise jeans <laughs> ever again. Absolutely yeah. the fuck not. Why? No one's body looks good in that. That's not true. Well, then I love- Emily Rajowski. I, who is dating Pete Davidson. I just want to see his penis. <laughs> he has dated <laughs> every massive. hot girl ever. Can we get what? Listen, I can get on They're board with, with a mid rise. Okay, Devin, you know what? I, I can just envision my Nana poking my fat and telling me that I shouldn't wear low rise jeans. 
My body does not look like that where that's going to be flattering on me. And you know what? If low rise jeans looks good on, look good on you. I love that for you. I just cannot personally participate in this. Yeah. Okay. By the way, it's not for me. No one's going to ask you to. Uh, this list has your MLM. <laughs> Greg. Leggings, cosmetics, essential oils. I don't actually think my dad is super familiar with MLM. I don't think Donna, I mean, I think she probably all knows it from like court cases. Yeah. I mean, my mom has definitely gone to a Tupperware party or two. Oh, she, my mom's definitely had to yeah. before. Yeah. yeah. I was going to yeah. say, I feel like, like Midwest. Ladies. Yeah. Let's get yeah. together. Yeah. But like she would do it to support her friend. Yeah. 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 And leave with some Tupperware. To be honest, didn't know what it was till I watched the Craig episode. Really? Yeah. I mean, Craig is our MLM well, expert. Because, most people don't realize they know MLM, but you do know MLM. You do know MLM. So they're like in an MLM, but don't even know it. Right. Sometimes, yeah. Scary. Yeah. 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 Terrifying. I mean, Culty. A couple new religions who- Are basically just MLM. Yeah, but with better tax privileges. MLM. Right, right. Yeah. Nonprofits. Nonprofits. <laughs> uh, pet problems. I, I only want to talk about pet problems. Don't tell grandma that her poodle is too plump. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, if they commented on Diggy or Moose's like physique. Oh, how we do that feel? often. Well, yeah, we do that often. They look yeah. like unwell pigs sometimes yeah. after they eat. It's so funny, Diggy specifically, for he whatever bloats. reason, he bloats so, but for like eight minutes after he eats or drinks, he balloons up like a bloat, yeah, really which does. can be really concerning when you have a pet, like when a dog bloats and it's like, that can be like a really dog serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like super serious. So for seven minutes a day, it's like, is he okay? Is he okay? And he goes, and then, it just, and then it's gone. It's all good. That's how I feel when I eat dairy. Scary. Yeah, that's how we all feel when you eat dairy. Yeah, I know. Um, I also Dutch feel oven. like, I feel like the pets will literally bring everyone together. I think that is the glue of our Christmas. It's the glue of our lives. It's the glue of our lives as well too. Yeah. 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 It's your children. Mo Moose threw up on Diggy yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and literally I was like, this is, yep. this is parenting. Yeah. He did, just, <laughs> blah, yeah. As I cleaned up him. the <laughs> throw up off the ground and then also off Diggy's paws. Have you ever been puked oh on? No, I would, I think that I would, that give, would be the end of me. Give me time, me. give me time. That would be the end of me. Yeah? Yeah. If it puked on you? Yeah. Okay. My emetophobia would not be okay. Yeah, it'd be tough. Would not be okay. Uh, religion. I'm actually surprised that this wasn't higher up in the list. Oh. This is one that I think we need to spend a lot of time on the blacklist with our parents about. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think we really need to hone on this one. Well, yeah. Uh, healthy. When Donna asked me the unsolicited question of if I grew up in a church. You could have just said yes. After, at, just at lunch casually. Lie, lie, and lie. I've never been so stressed in my life. Yeah, you could have just said, yeah, love Jesus. No, but then I'd be living that lie forever. Lauren, she still thinks you're a delight. That's because I am a fucking delight. Blankets coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> I actually should be getting like photos of the samples. That's actually. amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's that might be number one through five. On that's my list. one through five. Yeah. That's one through five. Yeah. Um, and on that note, that concludes the blacklist of topics that- Well, we think. Comment below with the ones we oh, missed. Oh man, I know. I'm sure we, we missed, missed, missed something. No, I think like every, like, and every like family member has that one thing. They're like, I don't know why we can't just talk about it, but them talking about it yeah. is the issue. Is is the problematic and, and issue. Like, and you don't want to say it because like, because you mm -hmm. are so incredibly illogical about mm -hmm. this entire mm -hmm. fucking vertical of, yeah. of conversation. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But we, on the other hand, are just so level-headed. We can talk about anything. We can talk about anything. 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 Yeah. Us. Anything. We There's no hot topics between us. No. Everything's easy to discuss. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See you next week on Wild Till Nine. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs>